That's good power, isn't it? 177. And that's consistent, that level. Yeah, yeah. It's not a 155 and then a 180. It's kind of up there all the time around the 170 mark. Just makes for a field day for JP. Oh, talk about luck. Oh, they're really getting it at the Thank moment. You. They're sharp. You talk about the, the service pace. That's big because the big servers in the women's game, Pliskova, Serena, Osaka, they're around 180. Oh. This one, 178. She's right up there. Yeah, she served a 196 in singles. Oh. Ouch! I'm not sure why Murray would go down the line there. JP hasn't really been crossing off that first shot. He doesn't really get the ball to penetrate hard. It was a missed opportunity for... JP, big serving again, though. I think they've kissed this set goodbye. Matek Sands and Murray, they're just... be preparing themselves for the second and just going down JP's line just to keep him honest. And that's the beauty of mixed doubles, isn't it? You, you can lose the first set so easily, you'd be yeah. out of the match. But you can get back into it very quickly, too. Tidy set. Clinical. 6 2 in 25 minutes. JP Smith and Astra Sharma. I think it was a firepower for me. Just uh, overpowering their opponents right from the start. They. Broke early, Jamie Murray, and that set the tone for the match. It's uh, a really good opportunity now for the Australian pairing to go on through to the semi-finals. Totally dominating that set, winning 29 points compared to 16, and racing through it in 25 minutes. They would be feeling pretty good about their chances now. However, Louise, I do suspect Mat Matek Sands and Jamie Murray to come out with a, a little more intensity and... Well, I guess they have to respond now, don't they? Yeah, they absolutely will. They had some good plays here. The power showing early from Astra Sharma. Love her returns. She really does engage and got good vision for doubles as well. She's so sensing when Murray is leaving. Good hands here from her partner as well, JP. Pretty classy at the net. It's the serve, this last one, the angle, just Time. finding that edge there and the variation is just terrific coming from her racket off the serve as well.